What's up guys, welcome back to another video and I just want to start off by apologising if you hear any noise in the background, I've got roadworks going on outside, I, I can't stop it, you know, I mean I could poke my head out the window and say, you know, oi mate, I'm trying to record Minecraft, but unfortunately that's not how things work. So, you know, next step is, I don't know, fill a bottle full of my own urine and chuck it out there, but we'll cross that road when it comes to it. In this video, however, we are going to be doing something I've been looking forward to doing for a very long time and that is finally first of all tidying up the base because it is an absolute mess some areas of the base just aren't complete it doesn't look too great then I'm also going to be working on the storage room now I've done it in a very similar way to to everywhere else to fit the theme so I'm using cobblestone bit of andesite some acacia logs in there as well to kind of offset the color and then also a little bit of oak I think here and there you know you can see it in the background anyway unfortunately acacia is one of them trees that kind of drops next to no wood and it's so like spread out that the amount of times I had to nip back out, grab a bunch of more acacia wood, because it only has about six bits on it in total, then go to another tree and grab some more acacia wood, and then go to another tree and grab some more acacia wood, only to find I've got like 15, 20 acacia wood, and then have to wait for it all to drop again, to then plant it all again. It's very stressful, very stressful. But we finally got that done, and uh, I think it is looking a lot better now than it was before. Like I say, no major improvements, just getting it all in a similar theme, so that when you're walking through the base, it actually looks like you're walking through one base. Right, now comes the question of where do we build it? And as you can see, I'm building this storage room right where this super smelter was. Now my idea is to get rid of this super smelter and build the world's largest super smelter. I want it like smelting a full stack of blocks a second. I want it to be so quick that when you throw the blocks in, you go for a cup of tea, you come back and oh my god, it's literally smelted your entire base. You know, your base is gone. You're thinking, Where, where's my base gone? Oh, it's in the soup smelter. Classic, you know. But I didn't want to just build it in this little room. I have other ideas for this little room. So I dug a hole and I am playing on Bedrock version on the PS4. And so flying machines don't work quite the same as they do on Java Edition. They just don't. They're a lot laggier. Sometimes they only work one way, I believe. So, like, they can go up, but they can't go down or something like that. But they are very annoying, very tricky. So, I started building, like, a, a four-long staircase. Got it all dug out. Well, I say all dug out. I got five odd layers dug out. And then, talking to my friend, we said, well, let's just dig it straight down and make some kind of slime flying machine. Again, at this point, I hadn't done my research, so this will change. Then the idea turned to, right, well, I, I need to get the actual bit dug out. We can kind of come over how it's going to work later. Let's just make sure we can get down, start digging out the area. So I fill this in, then start digging this, this three by three hole all the way down. Now, this episode is going to be a lot of mining because that is essentially what 40 to 50 percent of of the past two days have been it's just mining getting resources mining getting resources mining and believe it or not then getting some resources you didn't see that one coming i didn't tell you that's a secret between us but i dug the hole got to the bottom and like i say we started digging it out and so you know here you go watch some really cool digging for for i don't know I, between three minutes and five minutes, maybe less, maybe more, maybe I'll talk over it, maybe I won't. You guys can't tell me what to do. So here we are, digging a hole. It's a quite a big hole, I am talking over it. You guys didn't think I would, you guys thought I'd leave you for a couple of minutes while you just had to watch me dig a hole. Yeah, because that's interesting, isn't it? But no, here we are, digging a hole. I'm digging some more, and as you can see on screen right now, I'm just... Digging, is it classed as a hole? It's not classed as a hole, is it? Surely a hole would be in the ground. At this point, I'm just digging space. I'm not digging a hole. I don't know, but during this uh, diggy dig dig, um, hole, 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 speedy, speed, speed thing, I, I, I want to know. I, I want to ask a question. I, I want a discussion. 
in Minecraft, you know, we, we all like Minecraft, I'm guessing so if you watch the video. I mean, if you don't, if you hate Minecraft, you know, imagine if you had a, a serious fear of Minecraft and you force yourself to watch these videos. You just watch them place blocks. Oh my god. Oh, it's fun. Oh, look, blocks. Oh, gravel. But, um, what's your guys' favourite animal in Minecraft? So, me and one of my friends on the realm was was talking about this other day. So, me and Jamie were, were talking about what we think our favourite animals were, or, or I think it was actually that I feel like there should be more animals within the game, because there isn't that many. You know, I said that, you know, they add now and again an animal like the, the llamas they added, didn't do anything with it. I mean, do they even drop anything, other than just pure depression and despair? You know, and then he added the foxes, and, and he came in with the whole, well, you can drop a sword and it'll carry it in its mouth, and I think, when's that feature ever going to be used by anyone ever? You know, what a pointless feature. You never see a fox, because they're always hidden underneath a bush. No one knows how to catch them or tame them without reading the wiki. So, you know, what's the point of them? But, you know, I... I I think there needs to be more mobs. I just want the next update. Yeah, get rid of the cave update. Just bring in the the animal and mobs update. You know, bring us like five more enemy mobs. That'd be cool. I don't know what you could have. You know, they've got witches. They've got skeletons. Maybe bring in a a squitch, which is a skeleton with a witch's body. No, I don't know. I'm sure you can think of some cool stuff though. You know, and then I also want more animals, you know. Bring me some frogs, that's all I want. I just want some frogs, some pickles with legs, some some frogs. You know, I'm happy with frogs, I really like frogs. Just please give me some frogs, please. But uh, I think in the game currently, my favourite animal, and this is a hard one, because you've got to think about the usefulness, you know, cows are arguably the most useful, with all the leather, leather's in pretty much everything, useful anyway. Sheep, yeah, I suppose you could say wool, but you can live without wool, you know, you can find beds elsewhere and, and that's it. Pigs, yeah, you're kind of useless. You know, who's ever stopped by and gone, oh, let, let me just grab my pig and my carrot on a stick and, and let's go adventuring, you know, no one does that, you, you get a pig and a carrot on a stick and drop it off the mountain for the achievement and then that's it, you never touch it again. Um, I know turtles are pretty cool, if you can find them, you know, you find them once, they run into the water and that's it, they're gone. You ain't never seen that turtle again, that turtle was a goner, he's gonna go home to his family, he's gonna say, oh mum, I found a human and I didn't really like him. I found a human, I didn't like him, and now I've pegged it, you know. I think, though, I know there's that new mob, it's like a little weird fish thing. I don't know what it's called, that looks pretty cool. Will it be useful? Probably not, but it's fair. But no, I, I, I think, in my opinion, I, I think I must go with, um, drum roll, brrr, I don't know, a cow, I guess. Cows are just useful. I don't think they look that cool, you know, because it's just a cow, but they're useful. And so I want to know, what are your guys' favourite mobs? Not mobs, animals. What's your favourite animal in all of Minecraft? And, you know, double question, what's your favourite animal in Minecraft and what animal would you like to see added? Boom. Interaction from the audience. Yeah, that's what YouTube reckons they want. Interaction from the audience. So, you know, let me know in the comments. Don't be one of these weirdos that sees me ask the question and then messages me on, like, Facebook and tells me the answer because I don't check it and so answer in the comments because I will see that I'll drop you a, a nice cheeky little love heart you know not romantic though just friendly but yeah let, let's get on to uh, on to actually decorating this god awful room right so once the room was dug digged however you want to say it probably dug because that's the correct way to say it I, I kind of put these struts up, these these holding support beams, and I kind of liked it. So I was using, I believe it's spruce with stone bricks as well, just to really offset the colour. So you've got both grey and the brown in there. And the way I did it, as you can see, I've got like two, I guess, like support beams. And then in the middle, I've got one back from it all. A, a stone brick kind of pillar as well and then it was onto the corners because 
I mean, these were things we messed around with for quite a while. It kept me in quite a muddle trying to figure out how I was going to do this because I wanted it like curved but curved inwards. But to do that in a small space in the corner without losing too much of the overall room space was a tricky one. So, like I say, a lot of faffing around, a lot of, you know, place a stair here, build this. We looked at it, you know, no, I don't really like that, right, redo it, redo it, redo it. But then I finalised the design and we both agreed on whatever's on your screen now. That's it, there's no fancy transition, whatever's on your screen is the final one. I'm sick of it, I'm sick of trying to put in arches and curves, never doing it again, I'm quitting Minecraft, I'm so sick of blocks. But this is the final design. Now don't let the fact that this is going to be a 15-20 minute episode distract you from the other fact in which this took me like a solid day. So I was on at 8 in the morning until like 5 at night doing this, like primarily this. It seems, you know, it's one of these things in Minecraft, it seems like it's easy, but you come up with an idea. You, you replicate the idea however many times you need to around your base, around your room, whatever you're doing. And then I decide maybe I don't like that idea, maybe it could be better. And for me, if something isn't the best I can possibly make it, then I won't enjoy it. You know, and so I really worked hard trying to just get it right. Even if it was one block looks kind of off, I'd redo the whole thing. And so like I say, this was, you know, how many hours is that? I don't know. I'm not a math geek. 8am 8, 8 until like 5, that's like what 5, like 9 hours, if that's wrong that's embarrassing, but like 9 hours solid of mining, decorating, and doing bits, and, and obviously that's 9 hours to fully complete it as well, you know, as you'll see in a minute, but at this point I was super happy with how it was looking, it looked like it was held up, it looked like it could be realistic, and it keeps a semi-medieval vibe, so... Yeah, you know, up to this point, I'm a very, very happy guy. Right, now, again, you will definitely have to excuse for beeping outside. You know, roadworks and all that. I'm getting very close to getting that bottle, that's all I'm saying. But the design I went for, so I started with, like, on the diagonal, using these stone bricks through the middle. Next to it, put in a stripped spruce log. And then just having spruce planks next to, like, filling out the rest of the area. I thought it was fine, but I don't know, it's one of the things you look at, and I wasn't like 100% happy. I felt there was just something missing, it felt, I don't know, it felt a bit stagnant, and, and Jamie pointed out that, yeah, it, it almost feels like it's two like separate areas, you go from one thing and it is two solidly into another, so it comes down, helps me out, figuring out what we need to do, we, we decided on a stripped birch, through the middle and then I was using a mix of oak, oak logs and spruce planks I believe on the outer sides to, to give it a kind of more natural feel and I honestly think it turned out pretty good and from this point it was just about decorating and finishing the room so as you can probably see we've got acacia logs and also, um, on screen right now is me attempting this weird stair method that in the end just kind of hurt my eyes more than anything else, so we won't talk about that too much, but yeah, I, I used acacia logs, uh, sort of row of three on each sort of section to, to mix it up. I liked it. It looked like pretty good flooring. It looked overall, you know, pretty nice. and. This isn't my texture pack either. Like, my texture pack for some reason wasn't working on this day, and so this is the original Minecraft texture pack. On my texture pack, it looks a little bit different. If I personally say it looks nicer as well, but, you know, that, that's up to you guys. But, yeah, so we got that in, and then it was about the walls. What did I want to do on these spaces in the walls where there was just normal stone? I did want to just break that out and have it all one one layer because the most important thing about building and I will be giving a building tips and tricks video at some point as well to let people know how I build in the styles I build but it's important to give depth and dimension instead of just leaving it all stagnant and uh, one layer it's important to bring bits out put bits in that sounded rude but we're gonna go with it and so I kind of got mini arches everywhere and in the mini arches, I will eventually have like chests in there for the mundane stuff. So maybe a 
bunch of cobblestone and a, a bunch of oak wood or something. Just stuff that you can hop down and grab easily. And then on these diagonal bits where I've built these arches in the corners, each of them are going to be like a mini storage room. Decorated in the same way, but for, for maybe one for just valuables, one for all the types of wood, one for mob drops or something. I don't know. You know, we, we can figure that one out. Here's me trying to really awkwardly climb up this ladder and I just couldn't do it. So, you know, rips in chat for that one. But I had at this point got like 90% done. So I'd done the arches, I'd done everything else I needed to. And uh, now it's just moving on to finally like decorating the, the last little touches. And now at this point you may notice the texture pack's back to normal. Woohoo! And I wanted to, to use redstone lamps here. They're not the most kind of medieval and rustic I guess. But at the same time they are. Like, they have a really nice texture. It's going to light the place up, for one. I'm going to have to do some more lighting up of certain areas, you know, dark spots. Because every time I come down here, it's honestly, it's like a mob farm. I, I drop in the water and there's 12 creepers and 6 zombies. There's 2 witches over there saying really nasty things about me in the corner, which I do not approve. I do not approve. But anyway, so we, we, we got it mainly done. You can see, you see the odd pattern that, that I use. I like it. I really like it. And now it was just about getting the final bits of the wall done above the arches in the corners, which you'll see. And I just want to point out, if you're seeing throughout this video a bunch of random banners be placed around and be changed, that is because Jamie had the idea of spending the whole nine hours designing a banner. And so, you know, at this point, well done, I guess I could say. It's not the most productive thing, but we needed a banner, and now we have a banner. And there will be a banner shop coming soon, so, you know, stay tuned for that one. But I started getting the corners done, and my idea for the corners was this. So, I wanted to use basalt. I really liked the look of this block, actually. I'm going to be using this a lot more in my rustic builds, because it's, especially the polished basalt, which I, I used as well. I don't know. It looks so much nicer than I thought it would in just a general medieval-type build, but we went with it, and my idea was to get basalt, have torches kind of in between the basalt, and then in front of that, place oak leaves. Now, to the best of my ability, oak leaves don't despawn, if you place them by hand. I'm hoping not or else like three hours of work's gone. But it, by doing this, it allows the light to be shone out. And so no mobs are just going to be spawning up in these little corners. It looks good as well with the offset dark tone behind the oak leaves. So you can still kind of see it and still kind of see the light. But it looks nice. And I honestly loved how this turned out like this room to this point i was like a nine out of ten about i was like yeah it looks really good i just feel like something slight's missing this is what was missing having these green leaves here make the whole build for me i don't know every time i drop down into this room i'm like damn okay that is kind of sick like i genuinely really think it's great and we're just going to ignore the lollipop man that's on my screen now but yeah i think it's really great and I guess I'll show you what it was done, well, what it was like, when it's done. And this is it, in the background you'll see, well, in the background you'll see me crafting really, really slowly and really kind of painfully to watch, but after I finish crafting, you'll see the walls in the, uh, in the corners and everything. I don't know what it was I was doing. Oh yeah, yeah, I wanted to add a, a crafting table and a furnace in each one of these, because if there's always something you need, you always go in your storage room and go, oh, I just need to make this quick. Oh, but now I've got to go all the way back up to my, my whatevers. But I love this. I genuinely really love this. And I haven't done the roof yet, like the ceiling. That's for a specific reason we'll talk about later. But for now, I genuinely think this is one of my favourite builds I've ever done. It's simple, incredibly effective, and I love it. And if you guys love it, let me know in the comments. That is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, if you did, I don't know, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.